the last thing we're going to do is we're going to display a Tableau dashboard in SharePoint. Also easy to do. Um, there are 13 steps to get it to show. Um, some of those steps, some of these steps could probably be combined into into less steps, but I wanted to make sure that you had exactly the step by step to do it. Um, and most of these things we've already done before. There's a couple of things that we haven't done, like we haven't gone into the, the web parts and looked at the, the different categories of web parts. Um, we're going to do that now because we're going to add a, a page viewer. And then we're going to um, we're going to add the link. Uh, we're going to edit the page viewer web part. We're going to add the link to the Tableau dashboard. And then we're going to change the height just so that um, it'll show the entire dashboard. Then we'll change the Chrome type to none like we did before so that we won't see the, the, the name of the dashboard. You can, if, if the name of the dashboard isn't on the Tableau, dash, uh, if it's on the Tableau viewer, then you may want to leave that there. But most of the time, I think most of the time, the, the Tableau dashboard has a, a name at the top so I tend to turn the Chrome type to none we'll click OK we'll save the page um, and we'll check it in and just like we did before and then what we'll do is we'll do the same thing we've done we'll go back and fix the page title um, so if you are if you do decide to show your page title we will fix that uh, page title so that um, Actually, the, the page title will show automatically by default in SharePoint. So we'll fix the page title so that it has its spaces and it looks like a regular uh, word. Um, it is, it's slightly different steps to do that here, so that's why I outlined, outlined them different. And then we'll click Save and we'll be done with that. So on to the demo. Um, and I'll close this because we have let's go back so the, what the first thing we're going to do we're going to go we're going to click the gear icon we're going to add a page like we did before we're going to give it a name like we did before um, we're going to click on the ribbon insert add the web part from the categories media content and page viewer let's do that um, so first thing is we're going to add a page. And then we will give it a name. Again, sh short names if possible. Um, the names here don't have to be short, but again, we don't want to add spaces at this point. We'll add those later. create and it should take us into our new page already in edit view um, so then what we'll do is we'll go to again insert this time we'll go to web part um, there are many different categories here there's categories for blog there's categories for business uh, like a, this one you get used quite often for um, displaying uh, Excel sheets. There's uh, these community tools where you want to add, uh, add how people you be able to join your, your group, your membership, um, blogs, and things like that. There's content roll up where you're pulling content from other places, other sites, or, or and, and you're displaying them in a certain place. Um, there's filters where you may want you have a long list and you may want your users to be able to to filter the, the data by a date or by a page filter something like that uh, there's a bunch of these with text you may want them to be able to type a text type something into a field and, and filter the page but what we're where we're, we're concentrating on today is media and content um, and a page viewer. So what this does, it displays another web page on this web page. The other web page in this point, it, it, in in this in the context of what we're doing, is our 
is our Tableau display. Now, what we'll do is we'll grab this and we'll copy this and we'll save it into our clipboard. And then we'll go back here and once this is highlighted, we'll go over to the right here and we'll click Add and it'll give it a moment. And then here is where you can uh, you can either do it here or we can hover over it like we did before and click that and then edit web part. It basically does the exact same thing. It will open the just say yes because it's asking you if you want. It basically says it wants to save the page just to make sure that we're uh, we don't lose our our app part a web part. Over here is where we'll do all of our, our, our work getting our Tableau into the page. For this particular one, we're displaying a web page because it's obviously it's a tab Tableau web page, it's from another web page. But you can display a file or a folder. I don't think I've ever done that. Um, but there may be reason to it at some point. Um, so here is where we will add our link to Tableau. We'll click there. We want to, since we're already here in edit mode, let's go to appearance. Um, this is the name of the, the web part that would show. We typically, I don't think most of the time I would want that to display unless unless the Tableau doesn't have the name of it there. But even then, I probably wouldn't because I would rely on the name that I've given to the page. I would probably give the page, assuming that we're only putting one Tableau sheet on a page, I would put the name of the, of that um, that report on that page. Here is where we're going to add height to the web part to make sure that our entire Tableau dashboard is shown. So we'll click yes. I found that 1,000 pixels typically does a great job of giving getting all of the information. You may have to play around with this depending on how how tall or short your your um, dashboard is so 1000 we'll add there and again we want to get rid of the name so we'll say Chrome type is none and then we'll click OK and cross our fingers that our page displays correctly and it does then we will save this And once again, we'll check it in when we're done. We'll give us some comments if we need to. I'm not going to do that here. This will change to publish. So publish. Now, one thing you'll notice with Internet Explorer is while the different tabs, the different Tableau tabs do work, you don't see the names here you don't see you don't see everything down here at the bottom that you normally would see um, but you would go into um, you would go into Google if you went into Google Chrome you would see all of these things it would look it would look just like this it would stay it would have the name IMG home IMG goals categorization down here at the bottom it'll give you all of your options refresh the page pause um, Internet Explorer, at least Internet Explorer 11 doesn't, uh, just doesn't, and I, I'm not sure why at this point. Um, I know Edge, Edge does. I think Microsoft is still trying to push people to use Edge, but here at Kaiser we don't have Edge. But that is basically how you get your Tableau dashboard to show in, in um, Internet Explorer or in SharePoint. Now we we want to go back and we want to change this remember so we're going to go uh, this is a little different so we're going to go to our site content and in our pages so this will be in pages so if we open pages here's the here's our promoted links and here's our tableau so if we click the ellipses here and we click the ellipsis again, we can edit the properties. If we edit properties, we'll say again, we say you want to check it out. Obviously, we we'll, we have to because check in, check out is, uh, is automatically turned on in this library. 
and right here uh, not not there I'm sorry under title make sure you do it under title because if you change the name here it'll give you it'll put those percent 20s back into the into the URL so right here under title is where you want to go in you want to give it your spaces add your spaces to it scroll down to the bottom click save and you should see up uh, up uh, you have to check it in again so click you if you see this little arrow here that means it's checked out to someone and in this case it's checked out to me uh, there's a column here that you can add to any library that has check in check out you can add it to any library and it'll show you who has the item checked out so that you can go to them and say can you check this back in if you're done with it so we can use it so if you see this little arrow this little green arrow pointing down in the lower right corner you want to click your ellipsis click the ellipsis again check it in it'll ask you if you want to do a major or minor version a major version is one that you're going to publish out to everyone else minor versions are just drafts that you're still working on so you don't want to lose the changes but you want other people that are working in the development environment to see it um, here do you want to retain your check-in this basically says this basically says that you want to check it in you want other people to see it but you still aren't done working on it so you want to keep it up most of the time this is no because usually you're by the time you're publishing it or by the time you're checking it in you're done with it um, I you want to click the major version so you can publish it you click OK you get a comments if you need to but most of the time it's unnecessary and that's done now everyone can see it so if you click back into it space correctly everything's showing correctly and if you were in Chrome it would show perfectly and that is all there is to that.